Mr. Reed, you wrote a column on the pursuit of uh, Deshaun Jackson. I want to... Pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness, is that it? How would Deshaun Jackson fit into the Redskins system, Mr. Reed? Well, from an from a X's and O's standpoint? Yeah. I mean, extremely well. I mean, you know, the thing that the Redskins haven't had around here, I don't know when, is, is balance in the passing game. You know, when Santana was in his prime and, you know, catching bombs against Dallas, they still never had a number two receiver. I mean, Antoine Randall, they brought him in to be that guy in a punt returner. Didn't work out quite as they'd hoped. They've been searching for balance in the passing game. You know, they, they wanted to go out and they tried to go out and get Chad Johnson because they wanted a big target, a, a big move the chains guy. They were willing to give up three first round draft picks or two and that didn't work. So, you know, even the last couple of years since Robert Griffin III has been here, they went out and got Pierre Garçon and they had a bunch of other guys. You know, and, and the main thing you need in the passing game if you're a quarterback, especially if you're a young quarterback who isn't really adept at reading defenses, you need to have guys who can get separation in press man coverage. And when you have guys who can get separation in press man coverage and you're a young quarterback who isn't great at reading defenses yet, it allows you to throw the ball with a lot more confidence. The reason Pierre Garçon had a billion catches is not that he's – He's a good receiver. He's not in the Chad Johnson category. He's not in the A.J. Green category. The reason he had all those catches is he was the one guy who Robert felt could beat press man coverage and he could throw the ball. The problem came in last year when Robert couldn't, and I know it's a long-winded answer, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. The problem became last year when Robert couldn't get around the end for 80 yards anymore and all of a sudden now they were throwing everybody in the box, saying, okay, we're going to double Pierre Garçon with a safety over top. Now you have to you have to read the defense, and you have to make these other guys good receivers. He couldn't do it. What Deshaun Jackson does is he stretches the field. He's not a big guy, mm -hmm. but when you run 4-3-5 with his quickness, you are not going to see a safety bracketing Pierre Garçon on every play anymore. You're just not going to see it. They had to do so much stuff creative-wise just to get Garçon open, and Garçon got very frustrated. Now what you're going to see is that you're going to have two guys on the outside and this, this Roberts guy they just got who are going to put Robert Griffin III in better situations to where there's better balance in the passing game. Dan, does this make Garcon the number two receiver on the team? Well, I mean, this is an argument that is so kind of irrelevant to me, really. I mean, he's, <laughs> a, he's you know, he's, Pierre Garcon is probably in the range of like the 20th to 40th best receiver, maybe 15th to 30th, something yeah. like that. You know, he's one of the, he's a top tier receiver. Deshaun Jackson is probably a little bit topper tier mm -hmm. than him, but I don't know that... I mean, to me, it's kind of an artificial distinction. I think people might argue, is Andre Roberts good enough to be the second best receiver on this team? And maybe, maybe he's not, and maybe he wouldn't have to be here. Mm -hmm. um, no, he's the third now. Well, he would be, he would, yeah, he would be the third. But I'm right. saying like, that, to me, is more of an interesting discussion about. But if you have these two guys, they're obviously two high-quality starting wide receivers in the NFL. I, I mean, my, I understand everything Jason's saying. And it's, you know, we don't know until we see it on the field. It just seems to me like the history of the Washington Redskins in acquiring flashy, big name, high profile Pro Bowl stars has not worked out particularly well. And maybe this one goes different. Well that is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Hard to argue that. You can't you can't debate that. But you know like like it seems like the free agent success stories are the guys like Pierre Garçon, who really wasn't a superstar before he right. came to Washington. Lavar, how good could the offense be for the Redskins and a, th a three win team last year with Jackson? Jackson immediately upgrades this team. And to answer the question, he is a better receiver than Pierre Garçon. Mm -hmm. He's a more explosive receiver than Pierre Gar Garçon. He's a big, bigger play player than Pierre Garçon. He's a number one receiver even at his size. Pierre Garçon is a, proved that he could be a number one receiver in last season. So I think that that creates a tremendous amount of, of balance. I, I think they become... Uh, possibly outside of Roddy White and and, uh, Julio, and, and Jones. Julio Jones, I mean they become possibly the most formidable receiving pair uh, yeah. in in the NFL if you, if you really weigh it out. So uh, that deep ball ability that you have with with Deshaun Jackson now allows for Pierre Garcon to be totally the player that he's supposed to be, not partially. He's had to take on responsibilities that's right. That's right. that he was not supposed to have to take on, being as though he is the only big play player on this team. So I, I think it, it, it makes them a much more dangerous team with him. Let me ask you this. One word answer to, in, in the 20 seconds we have left. Does the acquisition of Deshaun Jackson make the Redskins a playoff contender after a 3-13 season? 
it makes them a lot better. Okay. I, I can't go back. I can't go there. Yet. Every NFL team is a playoff contender every year. It's. I mean, that's just all right. It is. Yes. With or without. I them agree. There. All right. So oh, they're a lot then better. Again, maybe. I could say. I could say. Yes, they're a playoff team. You can April Fools. Oh, here we go.